One time my mom called and said, I think I'm a feminist. Favorite memory ever. My favorite feminist memory is walking to the weight room of my gym, standing next to a guy on the weightlifting platform next to me and watching us pull the same weight and realizing that I can be just as strong as the other guys. A feminist moment I had was the first time I directed an episode of television. I've been acting in this industry since I was three years old and most of the directors I've worked with have been men. So to finally be the one that was in the hot seat, the director, the one that's in power, I had to sort of push back against any sort of resistance I might have felt and claim my territory and learn how to lead with confidence, grace, and a lot of poise. Teaching my daughter to ride her bike and seeing how empowering it is for a girl to be proud of herself and learn something and be confident. For me, it starts with the beginning of my life and the way that my mother navigated being a single parent. She was being a feminist and she was just living and doing what she needed to do and actualizing that and not letting anything get in the way of that. I think it was the I Love Lucy show. I just have this memory of Lucy and Ethel and their camaraderie and their sisterhood and how they stood for each other. And that to me represents what I think feminism should be. I was just some 22 year old woman experiencing her first day in the army. The first platoon that I was given was a platoon of 52 men. I had to stand in front of them and tell them I would be leading them. There wasn't ever a feeling that I was this woman coming in to lead them as much as I was one of their own. In the many, many years that I worked on Entourage, it was always an incredible feeling to be one of very few women on that show and not feeling like I needed to be one of them, but just being super proud to kind of represent womanhood. That was cool.